We've got two darling dollies. We might one get her. and two. We might get her today, guys. I think we might. I think we're gonna get her because I've got a coupon for 20% off. <gasps> and they have Grave Watcher. The first time I found her, I want her. I want Grave Watcher. I'm getting her. Okay, let's get our animatronics. I'm getting Grave Watcher and Darling Dolly. Both of them. We will go get Darling Dolly. Yep. Getting Darling Dolly. So I got a 20% off coupon for her. And Grave Watcher is, she's pretty cheap. She's I think she's 80. only 89. Yeah, 89. That's not cheap. This one and this one. We're getting both of these guys. Guys. I have to have my tall husband get it down. Okay. Max can hold Grave Watcher. Papa will hold Darling Dolly. All right, guys. Wait, did you want or did, or did I want her? We both want her. You want her, Mom. Yep. All right, let's go pay for these bad boys. One hour later. All right, guys. We got home from Spirit Halloween. We've got two new animatronics to unbox. We've got the tiny little three-foot grave watcher. And we got him. The seven-foot darling dolly. And Max's newest contraption. The jump scare skeleton. Okay, watch. Oh, yeah! That's Max's new animatronic. The jump scare skeleton. He's upside down. And he flaps. Flaps right in your face. It's terrifying. Oh, he's got to reload. Reloading. That's his new mechanism. We got that at Spirit Halloween too, guys, so he can make any of his animatronics he wants to do. And there's Howling Spirit. And we've got Death Stalker there. And, um, Death And Dismo Dismondus. Dismondus. You can see, um, Gordo. And Gordo is right there, guys. Right there. So now, now it's time for these guys. The two dollies. We have two dollies. We can just bring them both up there. You're gonna just open her now? Both. Okay, let's bring it up there. Looks like she's got some work to do. Yeah, she's bald. She's bald. She's bald. So Max wants to open Grave Watcher first. The first dolly of the session. It's dolly day. Dolly day today, guys. Two terrifying dollies. Look at her. Okay. So it, she comes out like that. Her eyes, look how cool Yeah. So she's all pretty much put together. You just have to put her together. <laughs> Do you want me to read you her story? Yeah. Okay. Grave Watcher. The Grave Watcher is eternal. Keeping a tormented vigil over the dead is their punishment for past sins against the underworld that even the devil himself can't speak of. So now, Grave Watcher waits endlessly for their own demise, forced to lull the dead to sleep night after night, listening to the unholy moaning of thousands of corpses, taunting them while Grave Watcher begs to feel the icy grip of death for one final slumber. Dang, that was intense. That was intense for such a tiny little dolly. So these are her, this is everything in the box, guys. Maybe the instructions would help. All right, Papa just put the poles in there. You just stuck the two poles in the base. That's all you have to do. Put your put your base on your pole, actually. Yeah, two poles. Comes with the base part and then the two poles. You need to just slap them on there, guys. You just slap them on. And Max is foregoing the instructions and he's just gonna slap her on there wherever he thinks she's gonna work. So hopefully this is gonna be good. Yep, good job. Oh, you need a screw. Probably or in here. You got a screw. There's Marshmallow sniffing the ground. Grave Watcher. She's like my favorite. Well, I love Darling Dolly too. I love these dollies so much. I like the Rising Doll too. She's awesome. But these are the two we got today. The Rising I love that she's got these creepy candles in her hands and her little face. That's bald. Yeah, she's a bald baby. She's got Velcro. She has some hair. Do you think we, I did it right, Papa? There's a scarf. There's part of a prom dress. This is a prom dress. That's her head scarf. Yes. I her need head to find scarf. a velcro. But she doesn't. Oh, look. Max is Grave Watcher. <laughs> it looked pretty cool. Marshmallow, do you want to be Grave Watcher? 
Marshmallow, Marshmallow, he's so cute. You're so cute, puppy. Why are you wagging so hard, huh? Why are you doing the wagons? Why are you doing the wagons? All right, so Papa is screwing a screw in. You're supposed to put a screw on the top there. Yep, you gotta put a screw in. That's about the only assembly required. Pretty easy. Other than snapping two poles in the base. Ooh, it's even got a, a thingamabob. A bolt. A bolt. You got a bolt on the back of it, guys. There's a bolt. All right. She's put together now. Is that her front hair? There's her front hair, guys. Oh, beautiful prom dress. And then that hair. Oh my. And guys, I know it's not hair. I know it's a veil, but I like to call it hair. Oh, she looks beautiful. Yeah, no hair on her. She just a dolly. She's got a fancy Mardi Gras necklace though. Yep, she's been on Bourbon Street, just partying with her friends. Max is situating her. Very beautiful. Grave watchy. Grave watchy. This goes like Oh, more fabric. It says it goes around. Oh, goes around her shoulders. I have flies flying at my head, guys. Flies. They think I smell good, I guess. Oh, look at how cute that she looks. Is such a fly queen? A fly queen? I don't think so. I think it's just bee queens. And wasps? Yeah, I think just bees have queens, and I'm not sure about wasps. I just assume no, they have wasps queens. Have queens. You think they do? We're going to have to look that up. If any of you guys know if wasps have queens like bees, comment down below. Comment and let us know, please. We would love to know. Yeah, look at those dolly eyes. Yeah, you gotta see these eyes up close. Look at those eyes, guys. That rhymed. I just rhymed twice in a row. Look at those eyes. She looks beautiful. Even with those slashes down her forehead. Aye. She's got batteries or the adapter, guys. She's so cool. And it's like six o'clock at night, so we have a little bit of darkness that we can kind of see their lights with. Take your dolly. We're gonna plug the dolly in. First dolly of the night. Little tiny filled with fright. I think that lines. You know that I am right. Cha cha cha. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Grave, watch ya. Where's her sensor? Oh, her sensor is right here on the front. Right there. Daddy's checking her. Oh <gasps> yes! Adjust her arms. She's adjustable. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sweet. Now that looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's so creepy. love her voice. I love her creepy voice. She's great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, guys. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. All right, it's time for Darling Dolly, our second dolly of the evening. Her face is definitely the best looking of all of them. Yeah, her face is so cool. I can't wait to show you for real up close, not just a picture. Torso bends downward quickly for a startling effect. Eyes light up and change colors. Yeah, LED lights. Yet. She giggles yeah, and screams. Yep, we'll see her. Oh, should I read her story? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm excited for this story. This is probably going to be very macabre. All right. Darling Dolly. In the early 1930s, little Sally Smith found a darling Dolly buried in the backyard of her family's new home. The Smiths hesitated to keep the doll, but it was too late. Sally had already become infatuated. 
Weird things started happening around the house. Mrs. Smith blamed Darling Dolly. One night, in a panic during a terrible thunderstorm, Mrs. Smith buried Darling Dolly in the same spot little Sally had unearthed her. But when lightning struck, Mrs. Smith's steel shovel, Dolly's grave lit up with an eerie blue glow. The doll and Mrs. Smith were forever changed into something far more sinister. Sally swore it was a nightmare, but her father knew his wife was gone forever, and darling Dolly would be back to claim her next victims. Ooh. Yep. That is sinister. It's, it's her dolly combined with her mother. It, the lightning transferred her mother into the dolly's body. That is the story of darling Dolly, and that is very sinister. There's an arm. Look at that arm. Dang. She's got a wingspan. What is this? Oh, why that, is it blue? But it looks cool. It looks like rotting flesh. Hello. Yes. Creepy. Very creepy. <laughs> a little hard to handle there. Were you petting Brave Watchy? That's her new name, Grave Watchy. That's what I'm going to call her. I've ever got to have what they call a snap lock tool. A snap lock tool? What does that do? It's like a shoehorn. Take, put the poles oh, together. Oh, nice. You got a snap lock tool. I feel very special that we got that tool. Oh, there's another arm. It's clothed in fabric. Okay. Look at that prom dress. Oh my gosh. That is such a nice prom dress. It's so beautiful. Oh, and she's already got her shoulders in there and everything. She's like hooked up. There's a box. Oh, there's a pole. No, that looks like her mechanism probably. Oh, that's her head, huh? Ooh, they kept it carefully in the box. How creepy. Look at that head. Like, uh... Head. That is a good looking head. She has a great hairdo Wait, too. Wait, remember Ashley? Yeah. She has the same thing as Ashley. Oh, she had a hairnet? The hairnet? It just protects the hair and keeps it in place. Here you go. All right, you got the hairnet almost all the way off. Whoa, it's attached somehow. Whoa, look at the neck. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to cut that off. All right, look at that head. Look at that prompt. Prom hair. <laughs> She's got prom hair. Like it yes. And her, Max is giving her a hairdo. What does that mean? Like the mom. Is the mom dead? The mom turned it, it. The mom fused with the doll. How? The lightning hit them and it combined the mom with the doll forever. Is, what? Then why is it not um, nice? The mom is yeah, the Mrs. Smith was probably a nice mom. So she's nice? Mm -hmm. Papa is getting that box open, getting this base out. That's what's in there. The base is very secure in there. Yeah, them like, like kids' toys nowadays. Yep, crazy. so they don't shift around and break. Yeah. And get smashed like our last one. <laughs> it will. It will. Hello, darling Dolly. We're going to have to think of a name for her. Samantha. It will. Samantha? Yeah, let's name her Samantha. She totally looks like a... Well, she totally looks like a Samantha. And she's just watchy, witchy watchy. But this prom dress is like truly deluxe. Look at this prom dress, you guys. So pretty. Yeah, she's huge. I guess when she turned into the dolly, she turned seven feet tall. That's for sure. I'm sure Mrs. Smith was not seven feet tall. Maybe that's what it is. The mommy with the dolly standing on her head was combined to become seven feet tall. All right, so now we have the mechanism. That's the mechanism with the speaker on it and all the controls attached to some poles. Very scientific. All right, we put a C pole in the C. See, you just line them up. C goes into C, boom. And I bet you guys can't guess what goes here. Oh, D, D into D. That's what we just did. You slide your D in there and your C in there, boom. There, now that's where we are. And, oh yeah, and A to A and B to B for the base. Boom, there's your steps. Easy peasy. Oh, secure the holder. Secure the holder! Oh, we gotta bend this one down a little bit. It was bent up too high. 
All right, we're malleting down this piece because it was pushed up too high so the support wouldn't fit in. Let's see if this works. Ah, uh, I think we got it now. All right, we've got two poles now. The mechanism is right here. The G pole is right here. Boom. That's not the mechanism. I guess the speaker box, right? Just the speaker box. That's the mechanism. Papa's getting the prom dress, which already has girdle included. It's got the shoulder piece and everything already inserted and poles in there and everything. All right, now what are we doing? This part we forgot. The mechanism goes on now. So first mechanism, slide it in there. Boom. G, H and G. Slide H into H. G and G. Slides right in, it's like magic. Boom. Now you combine the N cord with the N cord. As as A, B, C, you should be out okay. N to N. All right, we're gonna slide the prom dress over now. So you slide the J into the J and the I into the I, easy. Slide them in, boom, pop, perfect. Okay, so Papa just slid in something here. Waste. All right, we've got prom dress precariously poised. Prom dress is poised and it's pointed out. It's floofed out. Look at that floofy. Like hold it on, but it's so hard to get it. You have to climb up under that dress to get it. <laughs> like a little belt crawling around here, you're supposed to wrap around that. I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah. I love that dress though. It's very beautiful. Look at these two sisters. Two sisters in the wind. I don't know why you're supposed to like just kind of mold it into like looking like a hunchback, it says. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you mold a hunchback wire, guys. It's a wire that you mold to make it a hunchback. That's close enough. Yep. Now what time is it? Head 30. It is head 30, head 45. Well, you're professional dressman. This is how it looks half the time. Yep. Her hair's always in her face. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> We've got to pull up this, hoist the skirts. Hoist the skirts. We'll take you guys with. That's what it looks like under here, guys. Hoist the skirts. We got a mechanism. Little... Dang, did I put on deodorant today? <laughs> I'm so classy. Okay, there's the there's the connectors. You must hoist the skirts to connect the C. Oh, oh, oh and oh. Does it say that in the instructions? Hoist the skirts. It says hold the dress up. Oh, not hoist the skirts. That's unfortunate. I'd be so proud if it said hoist the skirts. All right. Head 30, you slide the cord through the head hole, the neck hole, slide it in there for the head, grab a hold of that neck, suit yourself, get yourself suited. Oh wait, look, the um, end of the neck, look, see this, this is a scrunchie. Oh. See that round thing right there? Oh, it fits over. Yeah, it's basically, it's a scrunchie. you just pull it over that, look, right? It's yes. It's so cold metal. That makes sense. You just slide the neck onto the pole. And then you put the squinty on that. Um, See how you connect so that? Yep, connect it like it that. So cool that. Slide it in the pole to the other pole. I put the squinty. This is our neck. Slide the scrunchie. Okay, slide so. the scrunchie over the ring. A velvet neck. Velvet neck. <laughs> or silken, silken neck. Her hair looks so beautiful. Papa, help. Papa. Oh, look at her face. Yeah, her hair always looks like that. You know what? I might put some barrettes in it and hold it back. Should I? I don't know. <laughs> Look at Papa. Papa! Stop hoisting the skirts! Wait, wait. Inappropriate. 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 Yeah, it, it is inappropriate. Inappropriate. Hoisting the skirts. Let's go on the pants and... <laughs> he had permission. He had okay. permission. There she is. There's, that looks better. Yeah. I like her hair like that. Whoa! Like that. Pigtails! We could give her pigtails! Yes, pigtails, bro. Pigtails would be so cute! So guys, you know what we're gonna do with Darling Dolly? We might dress her up as Kissy Missy. Why do you say might? We're gonna dress her up as Kissy Missy. Because we have, we're just gonna take her costume off and her hair, or her head, and we're gonna put on the Kissy costume and see what happens. Yep, we're gonna do that pretty soon here in the next few weeks, I bet. 
And we've got, we're gonna put Huggy on Mr. Dark. If any of you guys were wondering, you know our Mr. Dark is broken? Well, I did call the uh, hotline number for Spirit Halloween, or the zombie, Dr. Zombie, zombie something. The zombie hotline, whatever it's called. I called them, told them our situation, and they sent us out a brand new pop-up mechanism for Mr. Dark, free of charge, which should be arriving in the next one to two weeks. So our Mr. Dark is gonna be fixed. And then we're gonna turn him into Huggy Wuggy. Gotta get the cord ready. Oh no, another hoist of the skirts. Hoist the skirts! Are you embarrassed, Max? Max is so embarrassed right now. Because I can't see it because it's inappropriate. <laughs> Hoisting up the skirts! All right, we got that cord down there. Plugged in the AC adapter. Oh yeah, Max yeah, wants to put, yeah, Max has some sandbags ready. You wanna hoist the skirts too, Max? So daddy will hoist the skits. You get your rock bags. He has lots of rock bags. He got a brick. There's a big old brick in that bag. Honker brick. Not even a brick. Our big rock, brick shaped rock. Yeah, you gotta do the arms, bro. It's arm 30. She's almost arm. I totally skipped over it. Yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> I love how their instructions are so much better now. The pictures and everything. All right, we've got another. We got one arm to do, and these long sleeved animatronics don't make it easy, do they? Oh, she doesn't have long sleeves. She's got a tank top on, bruh. Got a tank top for this. Oh yes. Oh, nice. All right, you just slide the arm like that right through the prom dress. She's got a tank top on. She's looking like Darling Dolly now. Here comes another arm, guys. So you just slide it in until it clicks into place into the hole. Very scientific and approximate. Slide the thingy in the thingy till it pops, till it snaps, snap. Oh, Pop is gonna go through the back there. Snap, it snapped. You just go, you just push her in till it snaps, guys. When you hear the snap, you know you're good. There she is. Look at that beautiful lady. All right, I think it's time. And it's almost night, so she's gonna probably glow pretty good. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Yes, look at her rising up. Rising up. You see how tall she's getting? Yes, the eyes are epic. This whole part right here is the best part. Yes, right it is. She's gonna jump at us, guys. She's gonna get us. We're gonna just stand here. And <laughs> okay, we're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit. Oh, so oh, close. Like red. <laughs> She's so beautiful. <laughs> Darling Dolly, you a doll. She's beautiful. She's beautiful, Aunt Bess. So beautiful. Max, you think that it's face. Creepy? Look at that beautiful face. She's so cute. Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to take a picture with these guys. Oh. Oh. Epic. There we go. There's both of them. Both of our dollies. <laughs> Look at both our dollies. Yay! It's dolly o'clock. It is loud. Yeah, it's very loud. Very. So awesome. And Max has his mechanism. All right, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Max is, in, er, Pop is in love with Darling Dolly. I think I have issues with this. I love how her eyes turn red when she jumps. So awesome. And there's baby sister down here. Two sisters. Two dolly sisters, two dolly sisters, staring in the driveway. Two dolly sisters, two dolly sisters, two dolly sisters, scaring up the neighborhood. All right, 
That is wonderful. All right, guys, I'm gonna go chill out. So let us know in the comments which one is your favorite, guys, and what you like and dislike about them. We would love to know. All right, guys, she's saying goodbye to you in a whispery voice. Whispery. Ooh. Awesome.